Welcome in One Nation here at Fox Field as baseball advances to the next round of the ODAC postseason tournament. TJ, we're alongside Zach Potts. And, you know, Zach, I'd love to know in a pitcher's mindset, you know, what, where was your head at coming to this game? This was a chance to close out the series, survive in advance, and you were the guy called on to start game two. So I'd love to know coming into the contest, you know, what's that mindset at? Well, it's definitely about, like, postseason's a different ball game, and so you really have to just take it one game at a time. And so it's all always about focusing on the next pitch and just that pitch in particular and just going from there. You can't think too far ahead in the game. You just got to stay in the moment and just get after it. And for the second consecutive days, just two arms needed. You travel through seven, started to rack up the strikeouts as the game went on. But I'd love to know in your mind, you know, what was working for you today? Well, it was really understanding their approach and having our approach just be better than that. And so by establishing the fastball outside, that really helped me with getting a lot of ground balls early and getting outs early. And so that helped with the lower pitch count and kind of being able to go through the game, letting my fielders do their job. And we played great defense, which also helps. Yeah, I mean, you got some awesome defensive efforts. Avery Davis makes a standout play in left. Carson Atkins diving grab in center. But what I really want to ask you about, and I talked to Nick Matfield and Avery Davis about it a little bit yesterday, creating energy. And you get a couple runs of support in the top of the second. What does that do for you as a pitcher knowing, hey, got some run supports in my back. I can make a couple mistakes potentially and be okay. So what does that do, especially early on in the game, to kind of settle you into a game? I mean, it lets me know that my guys are there that ever, everyone's here ready to go. And it, it really, really helps. There was a couple other like innings following that where we didn't have the runs, but I knew that energy was still there. And getting those runs early really kind of helps me uh, settle in and establish my own strike zone where I don't really have to worry about too, too much. Still, it's executing whether the score is 20 to nothing or 15 to nothing the other way, like still got to make those pitches. So it's just really about that kind of like postseason getting up early mentality. And then last but not least, the season continues. We don't know when or, or who will be playing against. It's going to be Friday at 4 o'clock, but we don't know who the opponent will be. be the lowest seed that advances. But, you know, what's the work like between now and Friday to get ready for the next round of games? It's really focusing on us. That's all we can do. And by just honing in our own skills and making sure that we're crisp and – uh, maximizing our time between now and Friday because we did get pushed back with the rain, unfortunately. It's really just focusing on us because if, if we're ready to go, then it'll be tough to beat us. Well, Zach, thank you so much. Congratulations as well. That's going to do it for us at Fox Field. Baseball heading on to the next round of the ODAC tournament. Till next time, we are signing off.